Hi everybody, Steve here at the Chapel of the Pines. Right behind me, I actually got to uh, go in today. Edmund Gwen, who played Santa Claus on the classic Miracle on 34th Street, he was cremated here and his ashes are interred here. So I wanted to show you his final resting place, as well as the final resting places of as many of the other cast members that I can find from this holiday movie classic, who are also laid to rest here in Southern California. Thanks for joining me on another trip to visit the most memorable cemeteries, memorials, and gravesites. This is right next door, right behind this columbarium. Cremated niches, many of them very famous, is Angelus Rosedale Cemetery, which also has quite a few famous people laid to rest there. Here's what the crematory and columbarium look like from the cemetery. According to his Find a Grave memorial page, Gwen was cremated and his ashes are stored here in a private vault here at the Chapel of the Pines Columbarium. Gwen died from pneumonia after suffering a stroke on September 6, 1959 in Woodland Hills, California. In the 1947 film, he plays Kris Kringle, a department store Santa who believes he's the real Santa Claus. And he won the Best Supporting Actor Academy Award for his performance. George Seaton, the director and screenwriter, won the Academy Award for Best Screenplay, and Valentine Davies won the Academy Award for Best Original Story. The film was also nominated for a Best Picture Oscar, but lost out that year to Gentleman's Agreement. According to his Find a Grave memorial page, George Seaton was laid to rest in a non-cemetery burial. Seaton died from cancer in Beverly Hills, California at the age of 68 on July 28, 1979. Valentine Davies was laid to rest at Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City, California. And I'll be visiting his final resting place for a future video. He died at the young age of 55 on July 23, 1961 in Malibu, California. His Find a Grave memorial page doesn't list a cause of death. Next, I'm going to head to Westwood Village Memorial Park where two more of the cast members are laid to rest. You've probably seen many YouTubers visit one of the graves, but it's not likely that you've seen the other one. When I was growing up, it was nearly impossible to go to a movie or watch a TV show without seeing actor Percy Hilton. He's laid to rest his niche. Cremated remains are right here in this section here called Sanctuary of Remembrance. And as you can see, there are quite a few cremation niches here. If you're familiar with the movie, you'll recognize Percy Helton as the drunken Santa at the Macy's Day Parade. Helton died at the age of 77 in Hollywood, California on September 11, 1971. And no cause of death was listed. And some of you may also recognize him as the train conductor in the other holiday Christmas movie that I vlogged about last week, White Christmas. And here's a closer look at his niche plaque. From Helton's final resting place, you can just about see actress Natalie Wood's gravesite, which is located in the center lawn section of the cemetery. Wood plays Susan Walker in the movie, and while it wasn't her first film, it was her first starring role, and she was only eight or nine years old. She died in a freak drowning accident on November 29, 1981, in Avalon Bay, on the shores of Catalina Island, which is just off the coast of Southern California. And I'll pan around here so you can get a better idea of what the section looks like where she's buried. Actress Maureen O'Hara plays Doris Walker, Susan's mom. And she's buried at Arlington National Cemetery in Arlington, Virginia. O'Hara died from natural causes at the age of 95 in Boise, Idaho on October 24, 2015. Actor John Payne plays Fred Galley, Doris and Susan's neighbor and friend, and the man who comes to the rescue of Kris Kringle when no one believes that he's really Santa Claus. Payne died at the age of 77 in Malibu, California on December 6, 1989. He was cremated and his ashes were scattered at sea, so he has no final resting place to visit. Actor Gene Lockhart plays Judge Henry Harper, and you might also remember him for his role as Bob Cratchit in the 1938 film A Christmas Carol. During his long career, he appeared in more than 300 movies. He's also the father of actress June Lockhart and the grandfather of actress Anne Lockhart. He died from coronary thrombosis at the age of 65 in Santa Monica, California on March 31, 1957. And he's laid to rest here at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California in Section D. 
The character actor Philip Tong plays Julian Shellhammer, and he's buried here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. And his gravesite isn't that far from Jack Morris, the human fly's gravesite. Morris was a Hollywood stuntman, but that's the only information I could find about him online. I would love to know how he got that fun nickname. If any of you happen to know, please share with us in the comments section below. Both of their gravesites are located in the Garden of Legends section, overlooking the pond or lake, and I'll pan around so you can see what it looks like. Tong died from abdominal illness at the age of 61 here in Hollywood, California, on January 28, 1959. As you can see, it's early morning and the sun is just rising, and it appears that they just watered this section of the lawn because everything's pretty wet. And the dark spot that you see on the gravestone over his wife's name is just water that hasn't dried yet from a big wet leaf that I removed from their stone. My next stop is Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills, where three more cast members are laid to rest. By now, you're probably starting to notice that these are all cemeteries that I've visited many times before. Most famous people, in Hollywood anyway, tend to prefer to be buried next to other famous people. And character actor Jerome Cowan was no exception. Thomas played District Attorney Thomas Mara. He was cremated and his ashes are located here in the Courts of Remembrance within the Columbarium of Remembrance. He died in Encino, California at the age of 74 on January 24, 1972. And I wasn't able to find a cause of death listed anywhere online. And I'll pan around for those of you who would like to see what this open-air Columbarium courtyard looks like. I love the way they've designed these little courtyards within the larger overall courtyards. They're very inviting, especially when they have benches to sit on. I guess they're really not all that great on rainy days, but here in Southern California, we don't have a lot of those to worry about. A few weeks ago, in another vlog, I ran into someone who watches this channel and recognized me while I was here searching for the gravesite of actor Porter Hall for today's vlog. Some of these themed vlogs take me weeks and even months to do. I've been working on one now for over a year. So Louise just found Porter Hall for me. <laughs> and I'm going to be sharing him in, um, in a Christmas video. But I'll probably share this video ahead of time. <laughs> so now we'll see if we can find... Did you have a number on yours? Okay, so on his, there's no number, there's nothing on... On this one, it did have a GPS, it did have a number, you can see these numbers here. Sometimes they're easier, I mean, they're definitely helpful, but sometimes they're not really that close. You know, so they're not all that great, but thanks again, Luis, I can't believe it, you actually found <laughs> Porter Hall, so you'll be in, uh, in the Christmas, Christmas video. video. Merry Christmas. Yeah, absolutely, Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> if you want to visit Luis's YouTube channel and watch some of his graveyard visits, I'll put the link to his channel on the screen here. He's also a very talented musician. Character actor Porter Hall played Granville Sawyer. He died at the age of 65 from a heart attack on October 6, 1953 in Los Angeles. He's laid to rest here in the Enduring Faith section and as I mentioned his Find a Grave Memorial page does have a GPS. Actor William Frawley also had a role in the film but I've already visited his gravesite twice here in Southern California, so if you haven't already seen it, you can search my channel to watch those vlogs. Actor Harry Antrim played R.H. Macy, and he's buried not far from here at Valhalla Memorial Park in North Hollywood, but unfortunately, he's buried in an unmarked grave. He died in Hollywood at the age of 82 on January 18, 1967. Actor Herbert Hayes played Mr. Gimble, and he's buried at Green Mountain Cemetery in Boulder, Colorado. Hayes died at the age of 67 in Los Angeles on May 31, 1958. Silent film comedian and legend Snub Pollard made a brief appearance as a court officer, but since he's also laid to rest here at Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills, I thought I would go ahead and include him. He's buried in the Sheltering Hills section just inside the front gates to the right. Pollard died from cancer at the age of 72 in Burbank, California on January 19, 1962. The film boasted a huge ensemble cast, including more than 50 bit parts and smaller roles, featuring actors such as Jack Albertson, Thelma Ritter, and James C., but many of them were either cremated or buried out of the area or are simply unknown. 
But if I did happen to miss someone here in the Southern California area, please let me know. So what's your favorite Christmas movie? Is it Miracle on 34th Street or some other holiday classic? And this week, I'd like to thank Kathleen Norris for becoming my latest Patreon supporter. Thank you, Kathleen, for your generous contribution. So if you enjoyed today's vlog, please give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done that. And if you did like today's video, you might also like these. So until our next trip to the graveyard, thanks for sharing the memories, everyone.